Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman. I want to talk about the Windows Terminal. I've done a couple of videos on it before, uh, but I feel like it's not clear how to set up the settings on your Windows Terminal. If you've installed it and you've run it and you were not deeply impressed, it may be because you didn't customize it enough. So let's take a look at my desktop and I want to show you a couple of tricks, especially if you're a Terminal fan. Forgive me if you hear the kids in the background there. First, I'm going to type terminal in the start menu here. I want to point out a couple of things. I've got the Windows terminal that I got from the Windows Store. I've also got the Windows terminal preview. As of the time of the filming of this video, this is version 1.1 and this is version 1.2. So it's basically a preview train that you can get on. You can have them side by side and that lets you see cool new features that the terminal has and uh, test it against the one that you're used to. So think of it as stable and, uh, you know, move fast and break things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like as well, because if you take a look here at this blog post, Kayla, who owns the Windows terminal, is saying, look, it's now in the Microsoft Store. It is its own SKU, its own thing in the Microsoft Store. Okay. See the terminal right there? Windows Terminal Preview. Okay, get them both. It's totally cool. Now she talks about settings, and the settings are stored in a JSON file. So when I open up the terminal, and uh, I'll just clear mine here, and I'm going to hit this button. And I'm going to click Settings, also Control, comma. That's going to open up a JSON file. Here's the trick. You want to make sure that when you do this, you're using Visual Studio Code and that your JSON file, your .json extension rather, is associated with Visual Studio Code. That way when you say settings, it'll open up your editor of choice. I recommend Visual Studio Code as your editor of choice for one very specific reason. They added a schema, a JSON schema, Right there on line nine of the settings.json file, and that gives you autocomplete for your settings. Now, in the future, they'll have a settings UI, and you won't need to do any of these things. But you see how right here, just hitting the, the uh, quote button there, I can automatically see potential choices autocompleted. If I come down in here, maybe into profiles, let's see those. If I go down here, Lots of, it makes it a lot easier to, to explore. Now read the documentation, but it does make it a lot easier to store. I'm going to right click on the tab here and say reveal in file explorer. I'm going to show you the really weird location that this is stored. It's in a local state folder. And you note that the terminal preview has a different, uh, different settings.json. Okay, a couple things to think about. First, when I open a new tab, What's the default? Notice how PowerShell here is boldface. That's because the default profile is this funny number, this GUID, 574. If I go down here, blah, 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 blah. There it is, 574. So that item in the dropdown is the default. And you see how it says hidden equals false? Here I've hidden other ones. So if there was something I wanted to hide here, that bothered me, or I didn't like, let's say Alpine isn't that useful uh, to have at least as a terminal choice. Now it's gone. You really have full control of this menu and a full control of things like icons as well. That's super cool. You can see here I made a custom one. I'll go ahead and unhide it. See this one I made for mono? It's got its own icon, its own text, its own command line. I just pulled the icon out of a folder. It's totally up to you. You have a lot of control. Each individual profile can have its own background, image, its own individual fonts. Totally up to you. Okay? So that is profiles. I'm going to collapse that. The outline 26 is now squished down to line 100 and... Uh, 119. 
key bindings is where you, my friends, are not spending enough time. Because that's where the real power in the Windows terminal happens. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Visual Studio Code and I'm going to hit Windows left and I'm going to hit Windows right. And now I've got my terminal on one side and I've got my settings file on the other side. Okay. And what I can do, make sure that you can see that, is I want to point out some of these commands. Now you notice that these commands here are squiggled out. That's because they don't yet exist in the schema that I was just telling you about. But let's look at some of the ones that do. By the way, you can still use these, they're just not in the actual schema. Okay. So, um, command, action, copy, single line. It's up to you how you want these to look. You can break it up like this if it makes you happy. But the, this command here is going to do a copy, put everything on a single line, and I put it with control C. So that means if I go like this, I can select all of this, hit control C. If I go in a notepad, paste it all like that. See, it says single line false. Let's change that to true. Select it, control C, notepad. Now it is all on one line, isn't that weird? Who would want that? Don't know, that's why it's a choice. That's why it's a choice. Control V, that means I can paste, so I can go like this. Control C, Control V. And it's saying, hang on, you're gonna do text with multiple lines. You wanna do that? Good call, maybe I needed single line equals to true. Gives you control, gives you control. Now notice this close pane here. Close pane, what's a pane? And let's make a new command and figure out if we can make a pane. And then we'll know what close pane is going to do. Let's do a split pane. And that is actually an action. I'm going to go ahead and make a, a split pane, and we'll talk about what an action is here for a second. Always got to look at my, there we go. I missed a quote there. There we go. Now, this probably won't work. See? It'll tell me that there's something not right there. Missed the comma. It also might not work. Yeah, it did work. Look at that. Split pane. It gave me a horizontal split. Do it again. Ah, it's an automatic split pane. It's doing the right thing based on the size. So then close pane with Control W. Control W, Control W, Control W. Isn't that nice? Cool. You'll notice down here at the bottom, I have another split pane that shows you uh, that you can have sub parameters into split pane because split pane is a command. In the case there, you saw the default behavior, but also I could say I want auto split or horizontal split, the direction that I want the split to happen. Is it a duplicate? Of the current thing or do i want to open up a specific profile i have different keys for that as well totally up to you what you want to do all right now remember that i said about the windows terminal preview i launched the preview so this terminal here is the future right it's a version ahead and you can run them side by side it has some new features and those features were actually announced on this blog post. Focus mode, always on top mode, new tabs, colored tabs, all kind of cool stuff. Let me open a couple of tabs. Tab, tab. Now, interestingly, I just tried to do a control T to get a tab. That seemed intuitive to me. I caught myself doing control T. So why don't I just make that thing that was intuitive a thing because I decided, here we go, control T, look at that. Explore, think about how you use the terminal, and then maybe I want control W, ah, control W closes a pane, but if it's the last pane, it also controls the, closes the tab, so that's nice. All right, uh, toggle focus mode, shift F11, look at that, 
makes the tabs go away. Focus mode is new in the terminal preview coming soon. Another one that's nice is Alt Enter. Alt Enter plus Control Scroll, you have a nice full screen focused terminal. Very cool. Always on top is an interesting one. I like to use Control Shift Scroll and I can make my terminal invisible and translucent. And I can say, I'm just picked Alt Shift F11. I can put it always on top. So even though I'm over here typing in Visual Studio Code, my terminal is always on top. So you can do that as well. I'm gonna to toggle that back. Retro effect. I don't know how I feel about this one. If I had an all green background, maybe that would be cool. Retro effect. That's experimental. But the really interesting one that you should be looking at and you should get excited about for this preview release is the command palette. Now these are not bound by default. You have to go and put these in yourself. So Control Shift P, I decided, could have been Control P also, gives me a palette. Does that look familiar? It does look familiar because it's very similar to the command palette that you see in Visual Studio Code. So if you're a Visual Studio Code user and you like the command palette, you're really gonna like the command palette in the Windows terminal. What's nice about this also is it shows us the bindings for existing keys, as well as ones that are not bound. Remember I mentioned that thing about tab color. Control T, Control T, Control T. Maybe I'll rename this one pants and we'll make it pink. All right. So down in here, I can see all the different things that I could potentially do and whether or not I would bind them. Pretty cool stuff. The command palette is gonna be super useful uh, in the future. And then of course, in the, in the future, they're going to have a Windows terminal UI for doing all these settings. So for now, you're gonna to wanna to edit your JSON files, but in the future, you won't have to. So what have we learned? We've learned that you're probably not spending enough time in the key bindings section of the terminal. We've learned that there are hotkeys that you can learn, but there are also hotkeys that you can set. And then if you decide to also install the Windows Terminal Preview, there are coming settings like focus mode, always on top, and the retro effects that you can set and do all kinds of cool and fun new things. Uh, there are also features that you may not know that uh, you already have, like being able to search I bound that to Control Shift F. Terminal keeps getting better and better. Make sure that you go and check it out. And if you like my prompt, go over to here. I would encourage you to go and Google for Hanselman Pretty Prompt. And that will take you to this blog post on how to make a pretty prompt. And it'll walk you through the process with the right fonts and the right settings to make your Windows terminal look awesome as well. Thank you very much. And uh, I've just started doing these videos lately. Uh, no edits, minimal, minimal planning. Um, but if you do appreciate them, uh, tell your friends. Check out my other videos, my other playlists. I'm particularly proud of the Git 101 video that I did recently. And subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe, how will you ever hear about these things? Thank you much, my friends. See ya.